Hey guys, so today we're going to be making these stuffed Cornish hens. They're super easy to make, okay, and we're going to be stuffing them with some delicious creamy baked mac and cheese. And the other one, I stuffed it with some dirty rice. Okay, so let's get started with the recipe. okay you guys so I'm gonna start by cleaning the Cornish hen I have two hens here and the first thing I'm doing is removing that back piece of the hens so by removing that it's gonna be really easy to stuff the hen when in the end when they're finished cooking and all of that okay so I'm gonna remove that and then I'm gonna clean up the openings of the hen by removing any extra fat any feather anything on the hen that I don't want okay so do that to the chicken and then we'll move on by seasoning it also in this video you guys I'm not showing you how to make the baked mac and cheese neither the dirty rice but I will link videos in the description box down below that you can follow if you want a yummy recipe for dirty rice or baked mac and cheese okay I have a few recipes on here of my baked mac and cheese is totally amazing I will also be uploading another dirty rice recipe on my channel after this video so you can look out for that as well Alright guys, so once you clean up the chicken really well, you're gonna season it, okay? These are the spices I use to season the chicken. The only one I believe I didn't show you guys here that I also used was some ground cumin. Okay, so let's get started seasoning the chicken. So I didn't really measure the seasonings, but in the description box down below, I, I will leave some recommendations for you guys that you can use to start with, okay? So basically what I did was I sprinkled a little bit of each seasoning on both sides of the chicken make sure it's seasoned really well and also before I added the seasonings I used a little bit of olive oil to rub down the chicken really well that'll help the seasoning stick on the chicken nicely okay so I seasoned that side first and then I'm gonna flip the chicken to the other side and what I did for the other side is I actually made a paste so instead of just pouring the oil on top of the chicken and then pouring the seasoning straight onto the chicken I mixed it in a little bowl to make a paste because I did that because I wanted to rub below the skin of the chicken so to make this super easy you guys what you can do instead of sprinkling the spices straight onto the chicken to start like I did you can just make that paste and use the paste to season the whole chicken both of them okay I will leave recommendations in the description box again for the paste you can just use that and it'll be enough for both of the Cornish hens okay so once your chicken is nicely seasoned what you're gonna do is I like to finish by sprinkling on top of the chicken with a little bit of fresh parsley just to give it that pop of color okay and you could also add a little bit of your other seasonings like paprika or maybe a little bit of the season salt just so that that color will pop and then I'm gonna place it into my greased baking dish so I preheated my oven to 375 degrees you guys and I'm just going to place the Cornish hen into a baking dish that's big enough to hold the both of them and you're going to bake them in the oven for one hour at 375 degrees. Okay so after the chicken has been baking for about 30 minutes you guys I removed it from the oven and as you can see I'm just basting the top of the chicken with that sauce in the pan okay that'll give it help give the chicken a really nice color then I'm gonna flip it to the other side so I'm flipping it to the side that's cut and open okay and the reason I'm doing that is because this is gonna be our presentation side because we're stuffing the Cornish hens okay so you want that side to be nice and crispy and perfectly browned when the chicken is finished cooking so I flipped it and now I'm just sprinkling a little bit more of parsley and also a little bit more of the paprika or you could add a tiny bit of the seasoned salt just for that color to pop and we're gonna put it back to finish baking 
for about 30 more minutes now after that 30 minutes you guys we're gonna remove the cornish in and baste it one more time and also turn the heat up to 400 degrees in your oven all right and you're gonna bake it for about i want to say about 20 more minutes until your chicken comes out and it looks like this it's gonna be a little bit crispy and perfectly cooked so to know those cornish ends is finished cooking what you can do is use a thermometer and poke the thickest part of the chicken and if it's at 165 degrees then you know that your chicken is fully cooked okay so we're gonna set that aside and right now i'm gonna show you guys how to make this really yummy gravy to pair really with the dirty rice but i ended up using it also on top of the mac and cheese so you can use it on the mac and cheese as well it tastes really good on the mac and cheese or you can make it like a nice creamy sauce for the mac and cheese separately okay like you can make like an alfredo sauce to go on top of that if you don't want the gravy for the mac and cheese so let's make this really simple easy uh sausage gravy for our stuffed cornish hens so i added a little bit of butter and i added some diced up onions and a few cloves of minced garlic and you're going to let that cook in the butter and saute for about three minutes until you start to smell the onion and garlic releasing all that good flavor okay next i sprinkled in a little bit of flour and then you're going to use a whisk to mix that and let the flour cook for one to two minutes to make a roux okay and then i'm gonna add in some chicken broth so i poured in some chicken broth and again use the whisk to mix everything together so that the flour mix really well with the chicken broth and start to thicken the sauce and then i'm gonna season it with a little bit of cajun seasoning you could add a little bit of black pepper in there as well you guys make sure you know your gravy is starting to have that good flavor and taste good so next what i did was you're gonna wait for that to start uh coming to a simmer while it's coming to a sim simmer i added in some i ended up using half and half but you can use half and half or heavy cream you guys okay either works fine just a little bit check the description box for all of my measurements i will list it there for you guys okay and we're gonna let that simmer for about five minutes until your gravy thickens now while it's thickening i'm tasting the gravy i'm making sure it tastes good and and adjusting my seasonings as needed i ended up adding a little bit of paprika for color and so on and once the gravy thickens you guys that is it we're done so the last thing i did for this uh gravy was i poured it into a separate bowl as you can see and then i browned some italian sausage so all i did was i used the same pot added a little bit of oil into the pot um and i added some sausage italian sausage you can use sweet or spicy it's up to you and you're gonna brown the sausage until it's cooked for about 10 minutes or so you guys and then i poured the gravy back into the pan mix it really well and simmer it for about three minutes or so until it's nice and thick and that is it for the gravy so the reason why i did the sausage last was because i was gonna separate the gravy before i added the sausage um to make to make another dish basically but i ended up not doing that and just use everything for my for this recipe okay so you guys not to confuse you but you can brook the sausage in the pot first before you start making the gravy and before you add the onion and garlic okay so you can do that if you would like hopefully i didn't confuse you guys here but yeah that's it for the gravy nice easy and delicious so now let's stuff our chickens okay guys so to stuff the chicken it's pretty easy you're gonna take your mac and cheese and open the chicken a little bit enough to stuff the mac and cheese in there you want to add a good heaping spoonful in there add it about two big spoonfuls in there stuff it really well and then you're gonna do the same thing for if you're making uh the dirty rice stuffed cornish hen you're gonna add two about two big spoonfuls in there stuff it in nicely 
uh, it's okay if some you know overflows and falls in front of the cornish and that's totally fine but that's basically it you guys stuff it nice and then what you can do is drizzle it with the gravy that i gave you the sausage gravy drizzle it on top of the dirty rice cornish hen and also the mac and cheese stuffed cornish hen if you want like i said you can make a different sauce for the mac and cheese but that is basically it's super easy so simple and absolutely delicious um so yeah you guys that's basically it for this recipe you guys can jazz this recipe up and make it your own uh you could add extra toppings on here to really just glorify this dish and make it superb so it's up totally up to you what you want to do from here but yeah this is just a quick idea for you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did let me know in the comments down below if you give it a try don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming videos thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time bye guys